Hey guys, okay, one of the most common questions I get from people is I wanna buy some kettlebells, but I have no idea what size it's yet, and I also don't wanna spend like hundreds or thousands of dollars on a huge collection of bells. I've trained hundreds of students and it's actually really easy to get started with just three kettlebells and those three bells, they're gonna be super versatile and they'll take you through basically your first six to 12 months of training. So let's get into it, ladies first. For most women who are new to kettlebell training and new to strength training in general, I recommend they start with these three bells, an 8 kg, a 12 kg, and a 16 kg. And by the way, kettlebells are measured in kilograms, not pounds. So to translate these into pounds for you, that's an 18 pounder, a 26 pounder, and a 35 pounder. To give you some guidelines, your lightest bell should be a bell that you can press for sets of five reps. And that's gonna be your bell that you use for pressing, get-ups, snatching, and just most of your overhead movement. Your heaviest bell should be a bell that you can swing for sets of 10, you can goblet squat it for sets of five to 10, and this is gonna be your bell that you use for most of your lower body movements, so two-hand swings, goblet squats, carries, deadlifts, that kind of stuff. Your medium-sized bell is just that. It's your in-betweener, and you do need a medium-sized bell just because it opens up a lot of versatility for you. So as you progress and get stronger, you're gonna start using that medium-sized bell instead of the lighter bell for your overhead movements. You'll use this one for one-arm swings, racked front squats, push press, and really any movement that you started with the light bell, and then as you get stronger, you're gonna use that medium one. Once you graduate to your medium-sized bell, don't worry, your light bell is not gonna just collect dust because you can use it for all of your bottoms up work. One caveat here, if you are a little bit more experienced with strength training, so maybe you did CrossFit for a while, maybe you've done a bunch of boot camps, maybe you have just done a lot of dumbbell workouts. Uh, so if you have that level of experience, an 8 kg might be too light for you. If that sounds like you, you might wanna start with the following three bells, a 12 kg, a 16 kg, and a 20 kg. Key takeaway here, just go get your hands on some bells, figure out which bell you can press confidently overhead with good form for five reps, buy that bell plus two more bells, one that's four kg heavier and one that's eight kg heavier than that lightest bell that you pressed. For guys, all the same principles apply, we're just starting slightly heavier. So for most guys who are new to kettlebell training, I recommend you start with these three bells, a 12 kg, a 16 kg, and a 20 kg. In pounds, that's a 26 pounder, a 35 pounder, and a 44 pounder. Literally everything that I explained in the ladies part of the video applies here. So just go back, watch the first half of the video so you can learn all about what movements you're gonna be doing with which bells. But here's the super quick and dirty explanation. Your lightest bell should be the bell that you can press confidently for sets of five reps. Your heaviest bell should be the bell that you can swing for sets of 10 and goblet squat for sets of five to 10. And your medium bell is the in-betweener. So to recap, most guys who are new to kettlebell training will just need a 12 kg, a 16 kg, and a 20 kg. The same caveat that we talked about with the ladies applies to guys as well. So if you have some experience strength training, then a 12 kg might be too light for you. And instead you might wanna start with a 16 kg, a 20 kg, and a 24 kg. So again, rule of thumb, find that bell that you can press overhead confidently with good form for five reps, buy that bell plus two more bells, one that's four kg heavier and one that's eight kg heavier. By the way, if you're wondering what it means to press with good form, check out my military press video and you'll learn everything about what a good press should look like and also what not to do. If this was helpful for you, please boop the like button and consider subscribing for more kettlebell tips. Uh, yeah, just keep practicing those kettlebell skills and we'll see you in the next one.